Hi, this is Lawrence Sanic with Castle Dream Real Estate, the company that helps sellers and buyers capture the dream in the greater Tampa area. Castle Dream Real Estate is bringing you Home Seller, Home Buyer with Home Seller Episode 14, Top 10 Worst Home Showing Offenses. Okay, the 10 top worst home showing offenses. When it comes to presenting a home to buyers, some sellers are clueless. Are sellers' homes leaving buyers with a bad impression? Realtor Magazine received responses from buyers' agents in a survey who revealed their pet peeves when touring homes with buyers, offenses that they say have buyers racing for the door. These situations have proven to be frustrating and embarrassing to buyers and their agents. Mary Lynn Stencil with Ross Lynn Sotheby's International Realty in Arizona suggests agents be proactive in discussing with their sellers the cleanliness and presentation expectations for showing appointments up front. Don't assume your seller knows what to do. Also, agents might want to arrive early to a listing appointment to double check that everything is in show-ready shape. Oh no, they didn't. Here are the 10 most common responses from buyer's agents when asked about the worst mistakes they see when presenting for sale homes to buyers. Number one, leftover homeowners. No, not leftover food, leftover homeowners. By far, one of the top offenses cited by buyer's agents was homeowners still lingering around with agents arrived with clients to preview the house. Awkward encounters range from buyers finding sellers taking a shower, asleep in the bed, to even the stalker seller who liked to follow buyers and the agent all over the home to see what they thought. With the exception of the stalker seller, many of the homeowners who were still at home blamed their listing agent for not giving them enough advance notice about the appointment prior to the time. 2. Pets and their messes Numerous agents also cited the not-so-friendly dog and kitty encounters as a top offense. Even pets left in a crate can cause a distraction since the pet might make noise the entire time others are in the house. Plus, if they seem mean, the buyer might not even step into the room. Vicki Robinson from Fonville Morrissey Realty in North Carolina stated she recently was given showing instructions from a listing agent who told her the family's friendly dog would be at home, but when Robinson unlocked the front door with her client for the showing, a pit bull was staring down at them from the top of the staircase, growling, and the thing she did was close the door and left and never showed the house. 3. Bad Smells A displeasing smell can really turn buyers off. Common offenses include cooking smells, lingering around the home such as garlic, fried bacon, or fish, Also watch for cigarette smoke and animal smells, agents say. Sellers get immune to the smell that their pets have embedded on their property, says Helena Deegan, realtor in Knoxville, Tennessee. Anyone opening the door will smell it immediately, even if there are air fresheners trying to cover up the smell. If you have a pet there, there will be an odor. Don't send your buyers away. Paint and clean the carpeting. Take the odor seriously and do what is needed, even if it means replacing the carpet. Critters running wild. Wild animals and pests roaming around is a surefire way to send buyers running. Agents described worms crawling on the floor and bats and raccoons lounging in the attic. I showed a house in Utah once with a baby alligator crocodile in a cage in the dining room, Christy Hutchins from Wendy K. Team Real Estate told us. Five. Odd home makeovers. Do-it-yourself disasters were also prevalent, like doors opening the wrong way, unprofessional paint jobs, rooms not being used for their intended purpose can confuse buyers, such as an office being used as a bedroom even though it has no closet. 6. Dirt and clutter. There were a number of offenses cited when it came to cleanliness. Dirty laundry piles, unflushed toilets, dishes on the counter or in the sink, unmade beds, clothes scattered about, soiled carpets, dirty air conditioning filters, and overflowing trash cans. 
One of the worst things I've seen is piles and piles of clothes in every room, says Chris Leach, realtor from Riverside, California. It was like an obstacle course, trying to walk around the mess. 7. Personal information left in plain sight. Sellers should be careful not to leave in plain sight important documents that may pique buyer's curiosity. Some agents say they've seen personal information like bank and credit card statements, even mortgage payoff notices, left on the kitchen counter. Buyers are nosy, says Christopher Handy, associate at Canesville, Florida. I've even seen the contract for the seller's next purchase sitting on the kitchen counter or final notice bills. 8. Too dark. Dark or dimly lit houses aren't showing the home in the best light, particularly homes with CFL bulbs, that's compact fluorescent lamps. By the time the bulbs light up, the buyer is gone. Energy efficient bulbs need time to warm up before they are at their brightest. So staging professionals usually recommend agents arrive early to a showing to turn on any light fixtures with CFL bulbs at least 10 minutes prior or have the seller leave them on for the showing. 9. Missing keys from lockboxes. All too often, agents arrive at a listing appointment with their client only to find there is no key to get in. There was one agent, Hutchings, that actually had a seller's agent who wanted him to open the door for his clients by crawling through the dog run as a large dog barked like crazy in the property. 10. Distracting photos. Watch the photos displayed on the walls, too. One agent recalls showing a family a home that had life-size nude photos hanging which left her clients racing for the door, covering their eyes. Similarly, Angela Gandolfo, agent in Phoenix, recalls showing a home to a client who was staring at a painting in the master bedroom of a woman in lingerie. Isn't that the owner, the buyer asked? She was also the listing real estate agent. Thank you for listening to Home Seller Episode 14, the top 10 worst home showing offenses. We are grateful for the time you have taken to listen to this podcast, and we look forward to your input on what you would like to hear about in future podcasts. You can find show notes at homesellerhomebuyer.com, and you can leave your comments, questions, and suggestions there, or you can email us at info, I-N-F-O, at homesellerhomebuyer.com. Don't forget to contact Castle Dream Real Estate at info, I-N-F-O, at castledreamrealestate.com so you can capture the dream of buying or selling property in the greater Tampa area. Tell your family, friends, and co-workers about Home Seller, Home Buyer. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to listen to Home Seller, Home Buyer and catch us on the next episode. Thank you for listening and stay informed.